way So starting today I'm breaking out of this cage I'm standing up, I'ma face my demon I'm manning up, I'ma hold my ground I've had enough, now I'm so fed up Time to put my life back together right now Hello everybody! Welcome back to day number three for the pre-op diet of the full liquid diet. You guys, I was fantasizing about food all day today. I am so hungry. My stomach hurts. This is probably the hardest part so far of the journey. Um, this morning I woke up with a nauseous stomach. I felt like I wanted to throw up, but I didn't. I had some a bunch of water. I had my big jug of, of water and then I had um, some gum and the gum really actually saved my life because it, I think it sent in some sugars that I may have been low on because I am hypoglycemic so I think I was just feeling a little bit on the low side. So I'm feeling a lot better today. I have headaches in waves. I was wrong about yesterday's um or yesterday's video was it yesterday's video or the day before when i had talked about i was confused about the surgery i was wrong so typically typically you go day one day two and surgery is day three well i did an extra day i wasn't i was totally completely confused on the wording on the whole ordeal which is okay that's fine so um let's get to stats my stats as of this morning was 207.9 i have officially lost just about 12 pounds which is great so um i lost 12 pounds before the surgery that is com totally awesome um like i say in every video i do not recommend this for a regular diet for anybody starving yourself is not a good idea don't do it unless you are being prepared for surgery. That is the only way you should do this kind of diet. Yes, we lose weight on it and it makes us feel good losing weight, but just don't do it as a regular diet. Starving yourself is very unhealthy. In any case, I am ready for tomorrow. I'm very anxious, I'm nervous, excited. I have so many emotions going on. Um, but um, I'm going to be meeting a cab driver Okay, let's go over what I'm thinking what is happening tomorrow. Okay, so I'm over at a friend's in Corona right now, which is about two hours from the border in Tijuana, Mexico. So they are allowing me to stay at their house, um, and then they're going to drive me over to the border, and I can leave my car here. I kind of didn't feel comfortable about leaving my car at the border. Um things happen every now and then at the border so i it, it was re very generous of them to let me stay keep my car here and stay here overnight so they could drive me there it'll be about two and a half drive we're going to be leaving about seven o'clock in the morning and they're going to drop me off at the border the cab driver is going to pick me up um at the border it's going to be on the u.s side of the border they're going to pick me up and then he'll take me across the border with my passport so um, this cab driver is from um, the hospital. He works with the hospital and he will drive me to the hospital. I will have, I don't know if I'm gonna have some sort of tour of the rooms, but we'll sit down, consult with the doctor, go over the, um, the surgery, and then we will have, um, we will talk about, um, and we'll do the admissions process let's just say we're we'll do the admissions process so um i'm doing okay at the moment it, i can tell my body's starting to get weak for not having any food in me i've been drinking a lot of water i have drinking four bottle water bottled waters worth um water bottles worth water Bottled waters sounds much better. Bottled waters first. Um, worth of water. There we go. I got it out. So, I've also been drinking a lot of Crystal Light. Last night at midnight, I was so hungry, I went and got a chicken broth. That helped me. That helped me get through it. Like I said in yesterday's video, I'm going to say again, distractions are great distract yourself if you're going through the pre-op diet especially the full liquid diet 
distract yourself always con pick up a hobby if you have to always do something get yourself um, doing an arts a crafts YouTube do something to keep you distracted from oh my gosh I'm starving I need to eat because that is the hardest part I had a lot of time to contemplate as I was driving six hours to um, Corona so uh, I had a lot of time to think about food and then being around food and then seeing commercials with food and talking about food and I'm going oh my god I'm gonna die <laughs> so anyway I am super nervous fingers crossed thumbs up positive vibes uh, prayers thoughts I would love every single one of those things um, I hope everything goes well and uh, yeah that's it I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give this video a thumbs up um, thumbs up for the surgery tomorrow guys I'm not gonna be able to post any video tomorrow but as soon as I start feeling better I'll post a video as soon as I can I will vlog my journey to Mexico and in Mexico and in the hospital and maybe when I wake up from the surgery I might grab the camera and vlog again so um, I may not post tomorrow obviously I may be too groggy on medications to even think about YouTube we'll see how things go uh, I did really well from my c-sections I got right up and started walking when I woke up so I did really well anyway so we'll see you guys all tomorrow wish me the best of luck oh my gosh I can't believe them doing this slow down okay love you guys ciao